Hi everyone, welcome to this new Mystica tutorial. In this video we are going to show which steps you need to follow to set up your Mystica to be able to work in a different location, for example from home. The important thing is to understand how to move a whole project properly to a different system, so let's get started. First of all, let's move all the project material. Let's go to the folder where I have saved all my projects. In this system, I have installed Mystica Boutique with the default configuration. So let's go to the users folder, go to my user, which is testing, SDO data, and projects. There I have all my projects. I will copy only the one I'm currently using. So you may ask, uh, could I copy only the environment? Yes, you could, but then you will need to make a new project in the new system. And actually you may lose some important material, like the autosaves, the presets, and most importantly, the private folder, which holds all your vector paint files. So I will make a zip out of this project just for easier management. Now it's time to make a copy of the shared folder. So I will go again to the users folder, now as your app data, and there it is, the shared folder. This is where Mystica saves all the material to make yourself comfortable in Mystica Boutique where you have your own 3D LUTs, your own display filters, render presets, and so on. This shared folder also contains a copy of your users, which is where Mystica saves their shortcut preferences, as different users may have their own. I will also make a zip with this folder and I will send it to the new system. Let's say that I'm at home now, cozy and comfy. First and foremost, I have to move the license from the old system to the new one. Let's open the SDO activation tool, log in with my username and my password and enter the advanced mode. Cool, in the right part, you can see the systems that are associated with your SDO account. So I will drag and drop the license from the old system to the local one, which is the one I'm currently using. I'm in the local system, so I drag and drop the license to the icon of the local system. So there it is one and I will click on the on this new license and I will drag and drop it again. I will wait and then when it's all settled, I will be able to start Mystica apps in this system. As soon as it is finished, I can see that in the system, I have available my two licenses. Now I will paste the project folder. In this system, I have also installed Mystica with the default configuration. So I will copy the folder and I will go to the users, Mystica, which is the name of this user, SEO data, projects, and there I will paste it. Next time I open Mystica, it will be available in the project manager. Now let's paste the shared folder. So in this case, I didn't have any material in this system, so I will copy this folder and it will go to the users folder, go to my user, SDO app data, and there is the shared folder and I will overwrite all the information. In case you had already any material, just press on skip. So Let's check that I have my own 3D LUTs in now in the system, that I have my render presets, that the display filters are also available, and if I open Mystica Boutique, I will see that there is my user. So final step, everybody, let's open Mystica Boutique and relink the media. I will open my project, I will open my last environment, and now Mystica is asking me from what particular file to look. So I will open the browser and I will start looking from my media in my folder structure. So it's here, just give me a second. And I think there it is. So as soon as you tell Mystica where to locate one, it will start looking from the others automatically. So cool, I think it's done. Right? And now everything I need is already in the system. My media and all the material. 
Also, if you have your own tangent mappings, go to the tangent mapper software, go to File, Manage Control Maps, and select the, the file you want to export. Then, in the new system, you just have to import it in the tangent mapping software as well. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you want to keep up with the news about Mystica Boutique and Mystica Ultima. Enjoy Mystica!